for practice at self-check 3.13 math expression, we are told to evaluate the following expression and make sure to give a value of the appropriate type. And we have these um, statements that we need to look at and then give the answers to. Math.absolute values or math.abs is basically taking a number inside of it and making it the absolute value. So we'll have 1.6 here. And the next one, we have 2 plus negative 4, so we're going to get negative 4. Then we have math.absolute values, and this is going to give us 2. Next, we have math.pow, which is math.power. So we are going to take our 6 and then raise it to the power of 2. And this is going to become a double. So this will be 36.0. The next one, we have 5 divided by 2. That is going to give us 2. And then we are doing 2 right here, because it's the first number, to the power of this next number, which is 6, which gives us 64.0. Inside of here, everything is treated as an int. And then once it hits the pow part, it becomes a double. Math.ceil, this statement, basically it takes a number as a parameter and then it rounds up this number to the nearest integer and makes it a double. So this will be 10.0 from 9.1. Next we have math.ceil and this is going from 115.8, it's going to be 116.0 because it rounds it up. Next we have math.max, which takes the, it takes multiple integers as parameters and then it returns the highest value. This is why 7 is our answer here. And we have math.min which basically does the same thing but for the minimum value. We have 8 and 3 plus 2 which is 5. The minimum value is 5. Next we have math.min of negative 2 and negative 5. Negative 5 is less than negative 2 so we print out negative 5. Math.square root um, takes a parameter or takes an integer as a parameter and it returns a square root of that as a double. So it gives us 8.0. And we have math.square root 76 plus 45, which is going to give us 121, and the square root of 121 is 11.0. Next we have 100 plus math.log 10, 100, so it's math.log base 10, 100, and the log base 10 of 100 is 2. The dot log makes it a double, so it's going to be 2.0, and we're going to add that to 100, so we have 100 point, or 102.0. This next one, first we have 13 plus math the absolute value of negative 7, so we'll have 20 minus math dot pow, and then we have 2 cubed, so it's going to be 8. 20 minus 8 so far is going to give us 12, and then we add 5, so that gives us 17, and the math dot pow an absolute value makes it a double, so we'll have 17.0. In this next part, we have math.square root of 8, or math.square root of 16, so that will be 4, that's being multiplied by math.max, and then we have math.absolute value of negative 5 and math.absolute value of negative 3. So we're going to get 5 here as our math.max, and it's being multiplied by 4, that way we get 20.0. Next, we have 7 minus 2, which is 5. Then we have math.log 10, 1,000. This is going to be 3.0. So we have 5 plus 3.0, that'll give us 8.0. And then we have math.log, math.pow, math.e5. What this is basically saying is inner math.power right here. We have math.e, which is e, so it's 2.718, etc a constant and then we are raising this to the power of 5 and then we take the log of that which is 5.0 so 5.0 plus 8.0 that gives us 13.0 next we have math.max and we have 18 minus 5 plus math.random well we're comparing this to math.ceil which gives us um, which takes a parameter of type int in this case, 4.6 times 3, which is going to be 13.8. And since we have we have 13.8 here, and math.ceil rounds it up. So we're actually going to have 14.0 here. And we have 
18 minus 5, which is 13, and then math.random. This isn't really um, taken into account with the math.max, so we're just going to return 14.0.